everybody. It's Guiding Halo. I hope you're all doing well. This will be your reading for January 3rd. <clears throat> it seems to me it's about cycles ending, about asking people for help and support during that cycle ending, and still trying to have joy within while that is all happening. So let's see what this means here. Reach out to your tribe in times of need. So it's about asking, and this is the penguin. It's about being authentic to what your needs are, and understanding the way you feel is there for a reason and honoring that family gives you strength when you face the storm now this doesn't mean biological family it could mean friends that you've made as family or whoever in your life resonates the most for you for strength perhaps or guidance love your uniqueness so honoring yourself honoring yet again how you feel honoring the way you see things Honoring the fact that perhaps we don't always know everything and asking for guidance doesn't mean we're less than or Anything like that. It just means that perhaps we are very open to other perspectives or opinions or Trajectories we've perhaps not laid our eyes on yet our heart on yet our thoughts on yet interesting You are full of surprises break free from others expectations. Just be yourself so Trust the things that you need and that you feel a certain way for a certain reason. It's very important. Okay, just one moment here. Let me pause this. Okay, I'm back. I sense a small change, uh, a moment where you're going to need to, just like I did, pause the situation, look at things from a different perspective. It's going to be, it's like unnecessary worry. It's like changes to plans, taking what you know you need with you and leaving the rest behind. So there's something about looking at something from a different perspective and something about how your tribe can help you do that. And it's all about the cycles we go through in life. You know, we are all becoming, it's about also forgiving yourself and being generous with yourself to others, yourself to yourself. Be generous with yourself like you are to others. And the cycles card. <clears throat> Surrender to your changes. Release your fear. Trust this powerful process. So trust that what's in front of you is what you can deal with. Trust that you have everything in your arsenal to deal with it, whether it's uh, friends who are going to help guide you, whether it's, uh, you know, well, it could be anything. It could be synchronicities that are guiding you. It could be family. It could be friends. It could be anything, but... Surrender to your changes, release the fears that hold you back. Trust this powerful process. Trust mostly that the divine has you and that you wouldn't be in what you're in or facing what you're facing if you didn't have what it takes. Now, it's about also in some way, shape or form, finding the abundance in your life, uh, finding the abundance within you. When I make a joy a priority, brilliant ideas will come naturally. Support will surround me and movements will form so it's about being joyful and i love this card it's so beautiful being joyful in the midst of changing times not necessarily hard times but changing times a few days back uh the daily hope was about being able to ask for help and that ask would or help would come to you um also more ways to ask would come to you so making joy a priority and just having fun and enjoying every part of your life. It's about being able to enjoy the contrast. So we have, how do you enjoy contrast? Like, how do you enjoy the hard times? How do you enjoy? It's by having a perspective and understanding that if you have a stick and you hold the center, on one end's one thing, one end's another thing. This is, I learned this all from Abraham Hicks, guys. You can watch them online. But you have a stick and on one end's one thing and one end's the other thing. Well, it's all the same conversation. So if on one end is the positive, then on the other end is the negative. And the stick is vibrating. Now, depending on where your energetic uh, perception of, how do we say, what it is that you focus in on, what your energy hones into, which end of the stick is where you're going to feel at any given time regarding that subject. Okay. So if this end is vibrating and you're all going positive and it feels great, well, there's the other end of the stick, which is also the negative. So when something happens and all of a sudden 
a stick forms and it's created out of something amazing that's happened and you might be flowing here but others aren't perhaps the other end of the contrast is that they're flowing at this end okay so there's always the opposite negative reaction to the positive well how does that saying go well you guys know what i'm saying equal and opposite reaction okay so um here's the equal and the opposite to each subject okay so here's your subject here's the positive end here's the negative end so if you're in this positive end understand that there's somebody or there's going to be a situation at some point or even just within you there's thoughts also on the negative end that's why we sit there and say let's make a list of the situation of the pros and the cons but I'm here to tell you that when someone comes along giving you their negative on the situation or you even give your negative on the situation, just simply say, you know what? I reject your reality and I replace it with my own because I see the contrast is beautiful and the contrast, the negative on this end that someone has is beautiful because it's going to point me more towards a direction that's going to help the whole stick vibrate in balance. Okay, so it's going to bring, okay, this person might have to think a little higher in vibration. This person might have to understand where this person's at or think on their level of how they feel. And in doing so, might bring this person a little higher up in vibration. You know what I'm saying. And a lot of days we may end up back to the beginning of a thing and go, well, crap. Now I'm starting to feel this way too, but understand that's okay because we know that the positive is maintained on the other end of the stick. It's always there. It never goes away just like this is there. So how is it that we're going to find balance between the two? And it's not about bringing other people to our way of thinking, okay, on this end. It's about possibly in holding this vibration is what actually helps them move upwards. And I wonder if the stick can disappear and somehow when it's all sorted and said and done, we end up holding it like this. Interesting, I just saw the Ace of Wands come out in the tarot deck. So if we have a stick and we're holding it like this all of a sudden, guess what? It means we're pointed up in direction and there's a new wand of opportunity being handed to you, okay? A new wand of opportunity being handed to you. Perhaps the bottom and the negative all goes because everybody comes to this middle point of where it was started and seeing the beauty that you could all head up towards. All because of a stick. Okay? Interesting. So when you decide and everybody gets on board to realizing that this is an opportunity, then that's when everybody starts to move forward together. It's not one pulling on one end, one pulling on the other end. And that's when also when people start to get on board and start to come this way, we actually then remember if it's like this, we're actually then it's like everything comes up to the middle point here and we are all faced with dealing with our own negative contrast towards the situation. Okay, so it's like the Ace of Wands being handed to you here. Once this is all gone and everyone else is on board and all of a sudden you're like, wait, I try, I, uh, I wanted to create this, but uh, well, well, wait, wait one second. Why? Because have you actually let go of the negative contrast? Everyone else is on board and gone up here now. Have you actually let go of the negative that's there? There's being a wand handed to you now. So are you going to run with it or... Or, well, I don't know, Halo, I'm wavering. <laughs> Interesting. I find myself in that same situation right now. That's what I'm saying. All right, storm. This is about a storm coming, a storm brewing. There are hard times in our life, everyone's life, and we all face the storm. It's about ending a cycle to where the storm is concerned, if you choose to do so. Or perhaps realizing that the storm you're in, you're going to be, I believe, given a brief reprieve here in the middle, in the eye of the storm, and then head out the other way, which is very synchronistic to the stick thing I was just talking about. In that middle point where you're like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But when y'all hop on the boat and y'all start heading out the other direction, that's truly when you're faced with your concerns and your own fears about the situation. Before then, it's about getting everybody else on board, right? Yeah. Storm. Let's read it. All right. Whoops. Okay, I guess this feather wants to be in the picture. Isn't it pretty? Beautiful. All right. We all have to pass through difficult times in our lives when things get tough. Our vision and understanding can often become clouded. The feeling of being alone in it all and even feeling abandoned by spirit in your darkest hour can be overwhelming. But you are not alone. 
at all. Hold on and hang in there. Every storm eventually passes. This will not last forever. The card is here to remind you that you really do have the strength and the courage to survive anything that comes your way. Spirit is here supporting you in every step you take. Clouds always part and the sun will make it its way through once again. It is important to remember that whatever you are going through right now is for your highest learning and understanding. This card may come to you if you're having difficulty in your relationship with others. It is vital the rem to remember that underneath anger is hurt. Forgiveness for yourself and others is a key to moving forward and healing this. This card also comes if you are experiencing any type of crisis, whether it is in your daily life or within your inner being. Just know that is happening to enable you to see what is not yet in alignment on your highest good and what no longer serves you. This is your opportunity to make any needed changes in your life and to heal some very deep wounds from the past. Just know that you will survive this with your sanity intact. You will be stronger, more understanding, and more compassionate with yourself and others. Have faith in yourself, faith that you can and will make it through this. Spirit is here to support you as you find your own light at the end of this tunnel. So that's beautiful. I really needed to hear that too. We all go through storms, my friends, even the people sitting here reading tarot. Dearest you, since you're on earth, you understand how buildings are built. Yes, a good solid foundation and yet flexibility too in case of earthquake. Truth be told, you can't offer something sustainable unless it is built from a solid base. Whether it be an idea that takes form one step at a time, or an actual house that needs a sturdy foundation duck, poured and built. We want to remind you of this because you might need a little encouragement to see this is true in your life at this time. Celebrate the fact that right now you can repair the cracks in the foundation of your life effortlessly as well as go or sorry, as well as do a general site check to ensure your hard work is being well supported. Do this and know you are building your life on a perfect and solid foundation that will allow you to welcome the many miracles waiting to come visit. We're so happy for you and so intrigued by what you're building. So whatever it is you've got your sight set on here, whatever you're dealing with in contrast, whatever that subject is, this is absolute, absolute from the divine saying that they're so excited and intrigued by what you're building so keep on building it and understand that site checks need to happen. We all need to, to make sure things are going well. I mean, heck, even in construction, they do site checks. If they're smart, that is. <laughs> all right, I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll be talking to you again tomorrow. You take care. Blessings to you.